Uh, I'm gonna use my personal example. All right, this just happened uh, a year ago, a couple years ago. I was just coming out of a building one day, right? Taking uh, an elevator down and walk into the parking lot. I know the building already. I know there's a couple of exits already. It's an open space, my parking lot. I noticed from my left eye, I can feel there's a shadow or someone was following me. I felt it and it must have been the same person that I was in in the elevator with me. So there were three in there, right? In the elevator. As I was walking, I can feel one, this guy coming closer to me. Notice from my left eye, I can feel there's a shadow or someone was following me. I can feel one, this guy coming closer to me. I stopped and I looked at him. I mean, really looked at him and started asking him uh, with a loud voice, <laughs> such as this, may I help you, sir? Exactly, out in the open space. Why? I spoke loud so I can create attention to other people around who happened to be in that surrounding, right? The guy stepped away. And instead of going to my car, take a note, I went back to the building, safe and sound, right? So the guy, a little shady, right, looking, wearing a jacket in a summer day, like this one right now. Um, he stumbled with his words, right? Uttered and replied to me, oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, you just look like a girl who used to work here in this building in that building and I thought that was her <laughs> I'm like okay but I was like I don't know a couple feet away I replied and I immediately thought this is not good oh I'm sorry sir while well, I'm stepping a few steps ahead uh, back but I'm not my help you still in a firm voice but a bit louder now why I spoke loud so I can create attention to other people around who happened to be in that surrounding, right? The guy stepped away. And instead of going to my car, take a note, I went back to the building, safe and sound, right? Not today, buddy, not ever. I mean, I truly don't care the reason why he followed me, a bad pickup line maybe, or maybe even worse in his mind, right? I, I don't wanna know. I. I I don't want to know until today. I don't want to take any chances. It's my life. I'm not about to give it away to anybody that I don't even know. So let's talk about lemon surprise. A lemon surprise, what is that? I did just that. To create within that nanosecond, you know, I stayed alert, I think fast, I had strategies already in my head, surprise them. In most cases, criminals, right? Bad whatever guys or girls will make demands with the expectation that we'll be so scared and afraid and will comply <laughs> not me there is a nanosecond in which they wait for a you know for the that defeated response basically this is the moment in which our uh, our doing the unexpected right what I just did to him can throw that person the criminal off balance and allow us to win that encounter the moment of the element surprise so the element surprise can give us an edge that results in our winning the encounter my situational awareness may have saved me from a potential assault or just a bad encounter in this case right but uh, I don't want to know and I don't care what the reason I just want to save my own life I likely would not have noticed if I had my head been buried in my cell phone and looking at text or looking at a map or looking at whatever it is. Creating what-if scenarios is an extremely, extremely useful skill in yourself. However, in our day-to-day -day lives, we mostly have tunnel vision and focus almost exclusively on objects directly in front of us. Uh, that's just human nature, right? Um, tunnel vision is not adequate for self-defense. One way to expand your field of vision is to constantly, constantly scan of your surrounding, just like this one, this car, shady car, just drove by back and forth. The easiest way to practice this is by slowly moving your eyes from left to right while walking. While I'm sitting down, you bet, 
I've been talking I've been taking that well while I'm sitting down here I have been doing just that I know it sounds easy but once you do it you'll notice that you you, you know how much of your surroundings you were missing you got to practice it every day by the way um, and it kind of becomes really really natural with that pink a red tie or this guy keep looking a woman wearing Reeboks or Puma sneakers I mean something that's really really significant and a man with a pen in his shirt pocket you gotta have to be able to identify the items on the list do not necessarily have to be for defensive purposes but we